Hey guys, it's your girl Aish Aish Baby and I'm back with another video on Sister Sister. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to um, follow my Instagram, Aish underscore Aish underscore Baby and my Facebook, Aisha Treadwell. Um, and if you haven't already, um, go check out my previous video. Um, I did a more Halloween look there. And it was with pinks and purples. And I also did a video on Instagram reels. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check that out. But yeah, so I believe that's it. Yeah, I believe that's it. So let's get into the video. going to do is I'm going to go in with this primer um, this um, studio perfect photo loving primer from NYX um, it's a really small bottle but when I tell you this does wonders this does wonders it like kind of like gets my face like softened I don't know like it just gets it to a point where like primer should like it like gets my pores like really close it's time kind of takes the shine away that I usually have on my face so yeah, this is uh, just amazing. So what I mostly do, I do focus on my nose, my forehead, and my chin, like my T-zone, like always. And like, do you see that? Like, it's already doing wonders. And I love it, it kind of just takes the um, shine, shiny, it's the shine, whatever I'm trying to say, shine away that I have. Alrighty. So first, what I like to do is go into my eyebrows. Um, I do have this eyebrow pencil from Go Brow. I don't know. I think I just got this from a Chinese shop. Um, so, you know, something good. So I like to, you know, just brush it. I just washed my face, you guys. So probably have like some of my residue from my um, moisturizer still on there and I still have glue from the other day I was wearing lashes so um right here I like to just fill in I don't like do much with filling because my eyebrows are already thick but I just kind of go in where I feel like I should add some some lines to um because my eyebrows I haven't gotten them done so I can't even get them done but I just need to fill them in where I think they are needed Alrighty, and now I'm going to go in with my pro concealer. Um, here it still has like <laughs> where I bought it off from. Um, and this one is the chestnut. Um, I usually do a lighter one, but right now, as today, I'm gonna go with the chestnut um, color. And I probably won't because I don't have much in here, so that's great. I got something in out of here. So I'm gonna do that I normally don't do. I usually use a brush, but I'm just going to go ahead and just And then I'm going to highlight, like, cover up this unibrow. Okay, so now that I have my primer, um, I always kind of get, like, some of it on my lid. But I want something lighter, so I'm going to go with the um, Instant Age Winder. As you can see, I am running low. 
so I need to go get more but um this one is the tan this one's the color tan so I'm gonna do that this is also what I do to um conceal highlight my eyes so not my eyes my face what am I doing clearly I can't talk so whatever so I'm gonna do it just a little little dabs on my eyelids like so and then I'm going to take one of my brushes I'm gonna take a brush like this and just blend it all in on my lid okay so now I am going to go in with the matte book and like I said I want to go with something dark and browny colors so I am going to go in first with this brown color here um, I'm actually gonna use the same one I used to just blend all that stuff in so I'm gonna dab into that one And I'm just going to go up to like where my eyebrow is and just go around. And as you see, I'm doing like circular motions and I'm just going around. And if I just feel like I need more, I just go back in and apply some more. And I go all the way into where the crease is right here. And I snake my way out. Alrighty, and so now I'm going to, I'm going with this color here. It's just a kind of darker, but now it has like more red undertone. I'm actually going to use the same brush that I am using. And I'm just going to go a little bit under where that one was. Alrighty, and so now what I'm going to do is, I think what I'm about to do, actually I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go in with my liner that I usually do for my underlying liner, and I'm just going to place that on my lid. I'm actually not going to use this one because this is more harder. Um, I'm actually going to go in with my like liquid one. And I'm just going to put that on my lid pretty thick. And I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so now I am back into the palette. I blended out a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with this black color here and tap on that and then I'm going to add the eyeshadow to there and then I'm just going to blend it upward okay so now that I have that blended how I like to I'm going to go back and with my brown that I had I'm going to go back in and then just um, to make that more pop and also blend in with the black and more So like what I like to do is I just like to just go back and forth with each color just to make sure that they're blended um, how I would like for them to be blended in with each other. So just keep going back and forth, just blending is everything. So to me it's like blend, 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 blend until it's to your liking. Um, but for me it's like it's anything over blend. <laughs> it's better than anything to me. Okay, so now we're into that. And of course, 
it's gonna look a little crazy, but um, I'm gonna add like the glitter to it. It's gonna be a bomb. So I'm gonna work on the other eye and then I'll be back. Almost dropped my stuff. Eh. So when I'm working on the other eye and I'll be black back to show where this glitter is going to come through at. Okay, so I'm back with both eyes done. And so now I am going to go in with this um, lake lids uh, from I'm not really sure where it's from, but um, it's a lister. And I know I got this from um, Carl Grab, I believe so. But yeah, I've used this before in um, my first video, I think, no second or third video um the fire and ice one so i used this before um i really liked it i like this more better than i had the blue one i had to get it so um that was really more glittery and it had like specks in it that i didn't really care for that was really hard to like move around but this one i do like um so i'm going to take this and i think i'm going to go in the center of my eyelid and kind of like brush it out so first of all i just want to do like a line Oh, I never did this type of four. If this doesn't work out, I might just do what I normally do with the crease. But this isn't coming out how I really want it to. I think because it's black kind of harder but when you just keep applying and adding stuff to it it's going to get better not like the middle so I might go in how I normally would like more like a crease look and make it look like that so you know when I try new things sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but I always have a plan B to work with it so and it probably would have worked better if I um, actually cut my crease like that but you know it's a lesson learned so I'm gonna make it work like I always do and we're gonna keep on moving and keep on pushing Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is, um, this is a little wet, so I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to add some um, more sheenness to this. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the black to um, blend that in with the, how the crease is and add some more brown on top. Um, just so it's not like cut, cut, cut. So kind of want this one to really be blended out. So um, of course my idea didn't go how I wanted to go, but it's okay. Um, lesson learned and it's gonna get better every time. Okay, so I am back with lips and glamour. Like I have glitter all over my face right now, but it's okay. So um, we have the glitter, the black and the brown. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, go into the face and just get the face all done. Um, I just feel like when, you, when I get to my face, you start seeing the results a little bit better. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going in with the um, the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless um, Foundation, and this is um, 355, the coconut one. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go there. I do a little dab on my arm, my hand, arm really, on my hand, and I take my brush here, and I dab in that, and I just hit. And with um, the Fit Me Matte and Portless, like once you put it on, it looks lighter, but once it starts drying, I don't know, it just melts into your skin of like your, what your color is. So when you try it on, you're gonna be like, ooh, that's too light. But just let it um, sit in there for a little bit and it will end up like coming to the your color that you need. Because every time like I try it on, I'm like, ooh, that looks lighter than what it needs to be. But it actually, dries up and gets that matte finish and then it's totally fine and 
So with this being loose and glamour, I am going to um, put more facial on than I usually do. Um, so I'm not caking it on because that's one thing I really don't like to do. But I'm just one of really full coverage um, look. And with this, it's like full coverage. Like I haven't found one that I'm like, like, Whoa, that's like totally different um and like really hides my dark spots like i wanted to um i haven't really found one like that still looking um of course i watch youtube a lot so of course i'm getting my net but i watch youtube a lot to where i've seen some but i haven't really seen amazing ones I guess you could say but yeah and the glitter isn't going anywhere on my face but it's okay we're going glitz and glam might as well go glitz and glam everywhere else okay y'all know me like to get in the camera I just put it up but in the hairline even if you're not gonna show your hair I'm gonna probably put a wig on it's okay still slap that mug up in the hairline you never know what the wind will do to you okay so now I'm gonna of course go in with my concealer crank it up put on my concealer as you can see, like, I am desperate need of getting some more. I did get some more, but I forgot the color that I was using. And so it was too light. And I was like, girl, so I need to get this one because this is the one, the color that I like. And of course, I am just going to blend this out like always. People always do, people do ask me why I like blending with a brush instead of a sponge. Um, I just like to do it better. I don't know. I just feel like... It does a better blending job than when a sponge does. I feel like the sponge kind of um, absorbs the concealer that I just put on. So I'm like, kind of like a waste of concealer like on my face. So I do like to use the brush so much better. And I don't know, I just, I just think it blends out better than what a sponge would do. So now, um, as you can see, I just look like one round face. So, of course, I'm going to go in with my um, contour. And this is the True Complexion um, Palette from Black Romance. That's, I knew I couldn't remember. This is from Black Romance, too, the Splits of Lamb. But um, Black Romance, yep, from here. And this is the um, Dark to Deep. Um, this is a little too dark for me, but it, it's okay because when I blend it, I blend it in like crazy. Um, so I use the, I don't use the contour because that is like really, really dark, but I do use the sculpt here. And I just do a lot, a couple of dabs and that is like really enough for me. And I just go in like I always do and I contour that mug out. So as you can tell, like already, from this side to this side. This side is more confined. This side is more rounder, because I have like a really, really round big head. So contour is everything for me. So you can see the difference. So boom. 
okay and of course I um, also like to go from the side and work down my jawline just to get that darkness and to kind of like hide my my double chin but you have to hide my double chin really just to do it that, that way but we were good on the double chin okay we're gonna get it right we're gonna get it there we're going to get it a little And of course, take this brush, use the same thing, and to contour my nose. And of course, I knew when I dabbed it in there, it was going to pick up. Like, this stuff is like picks up on your brush. So, you have to be careful of it. So this one is from Revlon. It's the very berry stuff. So you guys have noticed, like I use the same stuff like all the time. If I like it so much, I'm going to keep using it. Um, yeah, I need to start trying new new things, new ones. But that's very hard for me. Um, so with this one, this is very pigmented too. I also like this. It's very, very pigmented. So I just, you literally do a dab and as you can see there's a lot on there so I tap that mug off and then I just go on my cheeks and I just go like a little bit above where I did my contour and I do the cheeks and then I just go out and then I do the same tap all that on there a little bit off and then I lightly I do like a little dab here and I have to put some on my nose a little just a little blush there and there we go so, um, I am now going to go ahead and um, add my lashes, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to add my lashes. I'm not sure. Most of my lashes, you guys, are def most definitely from um, the beauty supply store. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue these mugs. And we got scissors. So I'm gonna go get some scissors, cut them to where I need them to be. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll just be right back. Okay, so I have my um, lashes on. And so now, um, I have one eye that's like, like my eyes are definitely different. My eyes are different so I can tell but anyway so now that I have my um, lashes on I am now going to go under my eyes as you can see it's just really bare so what I can do is take um, this eyeliner which is from Maybelline New York lasting drama matte and it is the jet black 860 so what I like to do is I take one of my sponges and I like kind of press it down realize I did not bake pretty upset about that um because I can see my creasing going on but I'm not going anywhere this is going to come right off but anyway so um take my sponge take the black and just do the water line here And then for this, this just makes my eyes pop even more. So, see the difference. From here to this one. It's big difference and I love it so much. And I don't know why this eye is watering. And I don't even do this eye. But yeah. So, and then. 
I'll go to this eye and do this thing. And there you have it. And try to get your um, waterline as much as possible and not so far down because that's kind of like what make it look like you will have a black eye more than anything. Um, so yeah. And I just realized, let me take, so the um, actually the mascara that I used already is the L'Oreal one. And this is the 695 or yeah, 695. And best purchase ever and it's like it's just the black one black bottle it's not good for your lower lashes but i'm gonna do my lower lashes just because it's not good for your lower lashes just because it's like so big and you won't get them as much precise but i'm going to go ahead and just do my lower lashes that way and I just kind of use the tip of it. And with this, I just have to be so careful um, that I don't mess anything up. So there we go. Every time I do my makeup and like all the powders and stuff makes my nose like so itchy and ugh, ugh. And I just don't want to mess my makeup up. So, okay. So I have everything done, but the lips. So what I'm actually going to do is that I know you guys see me always doing, um, what is it called? An ombre lip. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do a full on brown lip. And I know when I think of Lips and Glam, you usually would do red, but I don't want to do that. Um, this time I'm going to go in with brown. So I take my pencil and just line my lip like I normally do. Let me stop talking before I mess up. Just realized I didn't put highlight over my lip. But it's okay. And I really wanted a precise Cupid's bow. So, mm, I think I did good. I don't know, it's just something about when you do your lips just makes everything come together as one. Okay, so I have the lip. Now I'm going to, I'm going with this Nick Yak New York, Nick, Nick Yak New York, yeah, lip color. And uh, this is the Black Walnut. And I actually got this from the beauty supply store, which, you know, was like a dollar or two. So, so I'm just going to go in.
Hey. Hey. I love this color. Like I used this once, but I think I kind of just like brushed and moved it over, but Oh, Charlie, man, I can't tell me nothing so tight, okay? Okay, so, um, boom, got that done. You already know what I'm coming with. The strobe, globe, the strobe, I said the strobe, the strobe and glow by Profusion, the best highlight ever. And... You know, I like to take my my big brush here and um, I'm going to go in with this darker color here so I don't mess anything up. And you know, this is very pigmented, so be careful. Ooh, child. I am kind of upset. I am not going anywhere today. Cause if I did, y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I might just step out and put the wig on today for y'all. I may just go to the grocery store just so somebody can see me with this. I look bomb. I look good. Oh my mama, hey, oh my good, hey. I look flat. I look good, hey, hey. Okay. So, I am going to, of course, get all jazzed up for y'all so I can show y'all the final look which really this is the final look but get out this shirt do something with this and take some cute videos and pictures for y'all so y'all already know how I do I'm a the the anyway so I'm gonna do that and yeah Let's show out. I put some lotion on my hands, so I'm not asking for the pictures. But yeah, but like this is crooked. Okay, you guys. So here is the final look of glitz and glam. Mm -hmm. Even put a wig on for y'all. Um, I actually colored this wig um, months ago, and I never worn it. So it's been just really like collecting dust in my room. But anyway, so yeah, this is Glitz and Glam. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, Aish underscore Aish underscore baby. And my Facebook, Aisha Treadwell. So I will see you guys next time. Love ya and bye.